Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation on business and enterprise. My name is Mr. Morris and I'm going to take you through some of the uh, options that you can pick in terms of business and um, for year nine. Uh, I hope you enjoy the presentation and uh, I'm going to take you through that now. So these are the things uh, you're going to learn in, in year nine. Uh, so the first thing you're going to learn is what is an entrepreneur? What are the successful traits of an entrepreneur? We also go through elements such as finance, planning, cash flows, and taking products to market. Um, learners will uh, basically do three different modules. So you'll study um, component one, uh, component two, which are both um, internally assessed. And then you'll study component three, which is an external examination as well. How that's split up is 30% is for each of the internal modules. And then uh, the biggest weight in is the external exam, that's 40% altogether. Uh, so these are the types of skills that you'll kind of apply to the subject area. So you'll get the, the chance, especially in component two, to set up your own enterprise. Um, you'll uh, learn skills like problem solving, um, innovation, teamwork, communication, and decision making as well. Uh, you get a bit more flexibility in component two, where you get to create your own business. Um, so the, those skills you can see there are more applicable to component two. Uh, so as I said, then there's three kind of um, key areas, if you like, unit one, two, and three. Um, it is important in year 11 so that you're fully prepared for the two hour examination. And that's the last kind of component that's, that's studied um, in, in February. And that's worth 40% of the, of the final course. Uh, so unit one and two are internally assessed and then unit three is assessed um, externally. Uh, so these are the um, kind of traits that we think um, are involved in being a successful entrepreneur. So things like passion, um, ability to plan, being self-motivated, having a, an important effective vision. These are all successful traits of, of entrepreneurs. And then in unit two, that's the unit where you get to be a bit more flexible and create your own business. Uh, so that's when you get to present, not only create, but present your own business idea to the class. Leading on from business after studying uh, BTEC, uh, there's a couple of options. You can study at A-level. Uh, you can also go to college uh, or you might decide that you want to study an apprenticeship. Um, some students as well, they might be taken on with apprenticeship with a specific organization. And if you have any questions about enterprise, please come and see me um, or feel free to come and see me in G10. Thank you for listening.